frequently asked how and why did I actually start one tooth oceanography? Well, here's the story. Officially, it started at the end of 2009, but in reality, the roots are much earlier. It must have been 1997, where together with a friend of mine, Gerhard Rehauk, who is an IT specialist and works at the Medical University, we created the very first CD-ROM atlas on echocardiography. It was called the Interactive Atlas of Echocardiography. And it was actually a huge success at the time. So digital learning was not completely new to me. And then there were some key factors that were important probably for me to start one through the sonography. First, I must say, I always had this special love for photography and video and movies, and I actually still do. And then I have this rather strange habit of collecting echo images and cool cases. So you will see me running around with a USB stick all the time and collecting interesting cases. And if you actually go on Facebook or so, you will see that I have tons of images there and you will sense the amount of images I have. So I believe I probably have the largest selection of teaching examples and cases in the world. They must be, I don't know, in excess of 20, 30, 40,000 cases or so. Um, and then there was this very strange encounter I had that was somewhere around, I guess, 2007 or so, where I was holding an echo course at a local teaching center and, you know, I was lecturing there and all of a sudden this guy comes in and he sits in the very first row and all of a sudden he pulls out a camera. Uh, of course, the cameras are, were different then than they are today. Today you have these little, of course, iPhones and, you know, handheld uh, phones. But at that time, the cameras were much larger. And then he also pulled out a tripod and just put the camera on the tripod and he started filming while I was lecturing. Then in the break, I talked to him and he was actually a very nice guy and I asked him why do you actually tape my entire video lecture and he said well you know um, it, it's just very good for me because I can take a look at the video at home and it's just a wonderful way of learning but somehow this whole experience stuck in my head and then at that time as I already mentioned I was holding lots of courses maybe 30 to 40 courses uh, each year and always telling the same thing so it came to my mind, why don't I use the format of video? Just what this guy you know, in the lecture room was doing. And combining with the internet, which at that time was starting to really, of course, strive and get bigger and bigger, and uh, utilize the material I had that I had collected. So the parts somehow all came together. And then together with a coworker and a former partner at the hospital, uh, we would always go to Starbucks and, uh, and we would kind of shape the idea and the concept and then finally yeah we found the company i guess at the beginning we had a lot of people who were very skeptic and i got like the advice uh, why are you doing this you're cannibalizing your on-site courses uh, people will not visit them anymore they can watch it on the internet uh, of course i had a, a bigger dream i was envisioning teaching the world and uh, actually doing what i'm doing right now to have a bigger reach and and to really bring the technology of echocardiography forward. Um, and you know, at the beginning, I guess everything was very, very improvised. Um, I mean, you have to imagine, you know, we didn't have a lot of money, so uh, I would film in my little office and there was a sink in the office and to cover the sink, we would have a backdrop and I would film there and there was a, a computer uh, with editing software and a camera and I would talk into the camera and then sit down and edit it immediately, which was ideal for me because I could also observe how I lecture and kind of refine my teaching skills. Um, of course now, um, yeah, I guess then we, we launched our masterclass in 2010, it, I think it was in the summer, August or so. And I still remember uh, we were sitting in front of the computer after we opened the cart for people to buy and we were waiting, you know, is anybody gonna buy our course? And, um, the beginning nothing really happened and so I went home and then one hour later I opened the computer and there was actually one guy who bought a course which was just an amazing experience. He was a doctor from the US and we were so happy that we actually wanted to call him and tell him you know that we don't want any money from him you can have the course for free but you know what should we tell him he was the first one uh, he was the first one who bought a course you know that is probably not what you want to have people to think so yeah, I mean, eventually the project has definitely grown uh, since the initial days. We've, we have an amazing team, uh, the people right behind the camera here who are 
uh, of course, doing a fantastic job. We've got people in development, IT, marketing. Uh, we've got people who work you know, in the B2B business, uh, bringing in cooperative partners and Klaus and Birgit and so many people who have been really, really instrumental. And, you know, in, in doing this project, I, I started to realize actually what we've created. And I've realized which immense need there is for learning and for ultrasound and also for people to have someone uh, they can see as a mentor. Um, and, you know, when, when I sometimes go to the computer and I look at the figures and I see, you know, we've got 3,000 subscribers and 150,000 people on Facebook, it's just still mind-blowing when I just see these figures and it's just unbelievable. Um, but it really pushes us forward and, um, you know, we definitely want to go forward and, you know, we think this whole community is just something that um, we feel a responsibility for. We, we really want to you know, produce content and not let these people down uh, and just you know, give them the teaching content that they need and that uh, of course helps them. And of course it's also this uh, incredible amount of positive feedback we get. I mean lists and lists of uh, you know, statements about how people were able to strive in their career, help patients, save lives. Uh, this is something we just keep on getting and it's very, very rewarding and it's definitely uh, something that keeps um, us all just moving and, and pushing forward. So I guess it's been an amazing journey for sure and um, I'm definitely sure it's not going to be over because uh, I definitely have a lot of ideas and plans and um, I'm sure that um, uh, you'll see much more of us in the future.